In a battlefield where drones fall from the sky almost as fast as they're launched, a dramatic shift may be underway. Chinese aerospace engineers have unveiled a game-changing technology, a terminal evasion system that allows combat drones to dodge incoming missiles using rocket boosters, and it could push drone survival rates from 10% to a staggering 87%. The breakthrough comes from a team led by Bai Wenhao at the National Key Laboratory of Aircraft Configuration Design in Xi'an. Their research, published in Acta Armamentari, introduces a deceptively simple concept. Attach small rocket boosters to the sides of drones. But these aren't for speed. They're for sudden, last-second survival. Here's how it works. When a surface-to-air missile locks onto a drone, it constantly tracks its target, adjusting its path to ensure impact. But the Chinese system waits until the last possible second, literally one or two seconds before collision, and then fires the rocket boosters. This sudden lateral or vertical burst, generating over 16 times the force of gravity, knocks the drone off its expected course just enough to throw off the missile's guidance. The result? The missile explodes harmlessly in mid-air, thinking it's still on target. Three core factors make this possible. Precision timing, directional intelligence, and raw thrust. All of this must happen in a blink. Onboard sensors and processors must decide how to evade, whether to climb, dive, or shift sideways, and fire the rockets accordingly, leaving the missile no time to adapt. Simulations show promising results. Drones that previously had a 90% chance of being destroyed now survived nearly 9 out of 10 engagements. But this isn't just about clever physics. The bigger picture lies in how this technology could shift the drone warfare landscape. In ongoing conflicts like Ukraine, drones are everywhere, with Ukrainian officials saying they cause more casualties than any other weapon. Russia reportedly acquires 100,000 low-grade drones every month. Yet most of these drones are shot down before completing their mission. This Chinese innovation could flip that script. If drones can reliably evade modern missile systems, the cost-benefit equation changes overnight. Suddenly, low-cost drones become high-survivability threats. Air defense systems, already expensive and difficult to scale, might be overwhelmed. Yet challenges remain. Adding rocket boosters isn't free. The extra weight cuts into battery life, reduces payload capacity, and complicates the already delicate balance of drone design. Integration with guidance systems and sensors must be seamless, especially in smaller drones where space is at a premium. There's also the matter of real-world testing. So far, everything is based on simulations. Wind, weather, jamming signals, and electronic interference could disrupt the system. Timing errors of even milliseconds might render the maneuver useless, or worse, trigger it too early. And then there are strategic consequences. As drones become harder to hit, nations will race to develop smarter missiles and faster response systems. Autonomy and artificial intelligence will play an increasing role. We're looking at an arms race, not just in weapons, but in algorithms, evasion logic, and real-time computing. Outside the battlefield, this propulsion concept has civilian potential. Delivery drones might one day use similar systems to avoid mid-air collisions or obstacles in tight urban spaces. But with every innovation, costs and ethics follow. Rocket-equipped drones, even for peaceful purposes, raise new questions for regulators and consumers alike. So, is this the future of drone warfare? If field tests confirm what simulations promise, China's rocket-boosted terminal evasion system could become a turning point, not just in drone survivability, but in the nature of air defense and the dynamics of modern conflict.